so we're all here together. Very briefly, uh, Thomas Merton was born in 1915 in France. His father was an artist, and uh, the, his parents were kind of, um, he grew up in a home that was very kind of, I guess, suspicious of anything having to do with organized religion. Both parents died of cancer when he was young. He went to Cambridge for one year, uh, drank a lot, carried on, got a girl pregnant. She died in one of the air raids during the war. And as a result of that pregnancy, he was sent to Columbia University, to New York. There were people that could keep a closer eye on him. And he continued his wild ways <laughs> at Columbia. And while at Columbia, he had a series of um, spiritual experiences and uh, had kind of a religious conversion experience for him. At first, he was going to join the Catholic Worker Movement with Dorothy Day in Harlem, discerned not to do that. He was then going to join the Franciscans, and uh, he got baptized as a Catholic. And the Franciscans turned him down, said he had no vocation. And um, um, he attended a, a philosophy class at Columbia University taught by Dan Walsh, first Catholic to teach at Columbia in the philosophy department. And uh, Dan Walsh told him about the Cistercians, about the monastery. And as a result of that, he went there, had a very profound effect on him. And in his late 20s, he entered the monastery. He wrote his autobiography, The Seven Story Mountain. It went on the New York Times bestsellers list. And overnight, he became known as Thomas Merton. And, um, you know, during the war, this was a time when just, I guess, a lot of despair and violence. And for a gifted young man to uh, give his whole life to God inspired people, touched the lives of many people. He went on to write many books and uh, toward the, um, in, the late, in the 1960s began active work uniting contemplative living with social justice. Uh, he was one of the Catholic intellectuals fueling the anti-Vietnam movement, the anti-nuclear movement, the pro-Dr. Martin Luther King movement and also uh, dialogue with the non-Christian contemplative traditions. And so I, I read him in high school um, and read him through high school. And then when I graduated from high school, I entered Gethsemane. And he was novice master there, so he was my spiritual director at Gethsemane. And um, so that's who this is, Thomas Merton.